When you sacrifice things in your life, young man, he's going to bless you. When you turn on your back on people that are not helping you, they're in fact, they're hurting you. And you turn your back on sin. You turn your back on worldliness. You turn your back on, on, on unfilthiness. God is going to bless you because you're making a sacrifice. You're breaking the box. You're coming out of the box. The aroma that you're going to give is going to be pleasing in the sight of God. And that's what the Lord wants. He wants those that are willing to break the box. Your songs are holy. Your dance is holy. Your praise is holy. Your dress is holy. Your thoughts are holy. You don't have to worry about what they're going to say about you because you have made a commitment with God. I am reminded of a story. It was in a country that was very poor. Some men came into a home and they kidnapped the daughter of a rich man. They took his daughter somewhere where no one knew where she was at. And they sent a letter of ransom. And the letter said, you cannot get your daughter back until you give us so much money. And it was a lot of money. And the father looked at the letter and he said, I don't care. How much it costs to get my daughter back? I am committed to protect my family, protect my children, protect my home. He went to the bank and he got all this money back. He got the money from the bank and he sent the letter to these people that helped his daughter. They told him, meet us at such and such a place at such and such a time. And we will have your daughter there for you. And when the father showed up, he gave them the money. And they brought his daughter through a door. And as she walked in, she was all beaten up. She had been abused. They had made her into a drug addict. She was hungry. She was starving. She had lost a lot of weight. Her pretty hair was not combed. Her very beautiful old dresses that she used to wear were all worn and torn. But as she walked in, the father opened his arms and he said, I don't care what you've gone through because you're my daughter. I am committed to you. And this is what Jesus is to us. He says, I don't care what you have gone through. I don't care what they've done to you. I will forgive you. I will commit to you. I will save you. I will help you. Hallelujah. But you've got to make a 